I just finished playing Last of Us 2. So, um, I absolutely hate it. So let's start this review off strong. I don't usually do this, but I will to save you guys time. Don't buy the game. Honestly, don't buy the game until it goes on sale for about $20. Don't buy the game for $60. Please don't. Please don't buy any special editions. Don't, don't do it to yourselves. There's a 50-50 chance that you're going to either like this game or really hate this game. Or just just barely, you know, just be like, oh, it's, it was all right. This game is so controversial. There's so many things that go on. You will probably not like this game. So don't risk it and save your money until this goes on sale. Please don't buy this. Moving on to gameplay. It's very similar to The Last of Us 1. Uh, same thing, you, same formula. You still have your crafting. You find your items. You can still level up finding the pills for the medicine pills. You can also upgrade your weapons. That being said, there's a couple changes. One, now you're because you're playing as Ellie for most of the game. You're swim. You're more uh, efficient. You're smaller, so you're you're able to do a lot more things. So she's able to go prone, so that helps you actually hide in bushes. So you'll be crawling a lot on the ground to hide and run away from enemies. You can also now dodge attack. So if a enemy is coming to attack you, you just press L1, dodge all the way, and hit them attack. You can also fit through tight spaces, so there's going to be little uh, uh, slips of cr uh, cracks between different places, you know, between two things, two cars, a wall that Ellie can actually slip through and get away from. So that's something that's really interesting and changes the gameplay formula. Um, quick tip here as well, make sure you smash all the vending machines, everything that has a glass in it, anything that looks like it might have items in it, like a refrigerator, smash that window because there might be items inside it. Huge tip because they have a lot of healing items and things you can pick up. Found that out really early, that was really helpful. Another thing about the gameplay I liked was the upgrade system. When you're upgrading your weapons, Ellie literally places her gun, she like unloads the, the, uh, the clip, takes out the bullet from uh, the chamber, places the gun on the, gra uh, on the table, and then we just like let's say you you want to reduce recoil or recoil or add damage whatever the upgrade is she will actually go to that specific part take that garden part fix that part or change it or do whatever to that part to make it look like she's actually modifying the gun and then she puts it back together and that's the gun you can inspect the gun the attention to detail in the the gun and how she looks at it is insane i love it it's it's really cool it's just such a small little feature, but it, it's just so, it immerses you more into the experience. Also, gameplay-wise, this is a very combat-heavy game. You will be fighting a ton of enemies. I mean, a lot of enemies in this game. So be prepared that you're going to be in combat for a lot of the game. Moving on to the story. Now, again, like I said, there's, spoiler-free, there's a huge plot point that happens that really changes the whole entire game and changes what happens and without you knowing what it is this review and this st like story review part of this uh, review sounds so weird sounds like it, it's confusing but bear with me trust me there's a reason for it it's because this thing literally is what makes this game like the shocking aspect of it so moving on this is a game about ellie this is ellie's story for at least half of it this is ellie's story you play as Ellie, no more Joel. You play as Ellie. This is sort of her coming of age, growing up kind of story. Uh, that being said, this is also if the first half you play as Ellie, the second half you play as a new character called Abby. So Abby you play the second half with. So you have two different aspects here. They still they control the same, all that stuff, but you do have two different parts of the story. That's something to keep in mind. As well as, as you're going through the story, there's going to be a lot of flashbacks. So uh, there's sort of like an Act 1, Act 2, Act 3 kind of situation where the first act you play as Ellie, second act you play as uh, Abby, and then third act is the final sort of act uh, that you play as both a little bit on and off. And so in each of those sections, each of these sort of chapters as you move on, there might be three or four chapters between acts, you have a flashback, and this flashback brings you back to the days of Ellie and Joel when they were younger, and to a museum and visit that place. And so you have these little flashbacks that connect the story, which I'll talk about is a little bit of an issue here, that things I, I didn't like. Another th uh, thing about the story is that Ellie has changed. Ellie is more of a... She's not the same Ellie we used to know as a little kid. She 
because of events that happens to her, she changes a lot. She becomes a lot darker. And personally, I did not like this Ellie. I feel like it really was a boring or Ellie, a more darker Ellie, and not the same Ellie we, who we remember. Moving on to things I hated. <sighs> Basically the whole entire game. Like I, I literally there's very little things I liked about this game, and very much a lot of things I hated about this game. First, no character development. I literally did not give two stones about any of these characters. No characters whatsoever besides Ellie, Tommy, maybe Dina and, and Jesse a little bit. But everyone on Abby's side, including Abby herself, I totally did not care about. They were just terrible. There was no development. They tried to have a development, because, but because of the things that happened in the story, it does just doesn't work out. The whole story is just unbelievable. It's a huge mess of a story. Like... You, the frustration you feel uh, as the story focuses on such minor details and minor plot points but doesn't talk about the actual plot points that are important to the game. You literally spent, if you don't watch the reveal trailer where Ellie and Dina kiss at the party, that is, they talk about it for the first three hours, well for the whole game, but for the three, first three hours they talk about that scene but they don't show that cutscene in the game until much, much, much later on when you totally forgot about it. And so new players that have no idea and have never seen that trailer are just lost. They have no idea what is going on and what they're talking about. There's so, so many things. You'll find out in Abby's story, um, while you're playing the game, uh, especially in Abby's story, there's two factions here. There's, there's wolves and there's scars. They don't really talk about the conflict, the actual history behind why they're fighting each other. There's a small little bits and pieces, and maybe there's stuff in like the actual like documents that you pick up in letters, but that's it. like it's not explained. It, it literally is things that would be so interesting to hear about and learn more about are just pushed aside and thrown out for garbage plot points and things that we did not ask for as players and as fans of last of us one literally if you can see i am so mad because there's so many things that have gone wrong with the last of us two there's so many things that we did not want from this game and that's what we got we literally got the worst option the worst situations the worst scenarios the worst story we could have asked for in this game it is so disappointing there's so many unbelievable points in this game characters don't act like the characters did in the first game especially to Tommy and Joel they do not act Ellie does not act the same I hated Ellie in this game she was not the same Ellie I remember the same kid that was goofy that had fun but she was serious uh and, and you know she was energetic and she was she was enjoying herself and trying to learn more about the world this game is so frustrating because there's no world building there's no character development that actually matters there's nothing that actually matters in this game the game is so hard to play for a long period of time if it was not for this review i honestly would have stopped playing this game halfway through not even halfway through like 30 40 percent through the game i would have stopped because it was too boring it was too long it was just so many things going wrong, so many plot points that I did not, we did none of us ask for. Naughty Dog, Sony, what the hell was this game? What did you decide to do with this game? Because it's not what we wanted, and I know that's what you were going for, is this huge shock factor of things that we did not expect. But guess what? You went over the board, you didn't shock us, you pissed us off one last thing guys oh my god the ending what the hell were you doing naughty dog what was going through your minds when you thought even for a second that the last of us 2 the sequel that everyone was waiting for the people were super excited for 
that you could change the whole entire formula that made the first one so goddamn great and turn it into this pile of just garbage that you call a sequel. The first game was awesome and it's been seven years. I just feel bad for a lot of people that are being disappointed. And you see this through Metacritic. Literally, there's a, I think now it's, at some point it was like 4.4. It was at 3.5 something and then through 4.4 now. The scores are so low. People hate the game. And I'm one of those. I'm one of the people that absolutely hated this game. And I'm so sorry to have had to play it and experience it. And I hope you guys hold off at least until it's on sale. Or you can rent it or just do something. Save yourself money. Don't buy it. Seriously, you, you, you will be disappointed. Maybe you'll find a masterpiece. And you know what? Leave a comment down below if you did. But that being said... Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to keep updated with more Last of Us 2 videos because I think besides these reviews, there's going to be a lot of discussions and things I want to talk about because this game, there's so many things that I want to discuss. It's going to be interesting. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in another one of my videos. Peace out.